Now, several runners from our area are in Boston. They were running in the marathon. Several we talked with were not far from the explosions when they happened today. Yeah, Local 15's John Zanitas is live in our newsroom right now. John, the University of Mobile cross-country coach actually saw the explosion happen. That's right, Kim. He had just finished the marathon and was walking back to the finish line to meet up with his wife. That's when the explosions started going off. His wife had been sitting in the section where one of the explosions went off, but thankfully she had left her seat to come meet up with him. He says there was just this thick, blinding cloud of white smoke. They all started running. The coach told me, though, this is interesting, before the marathon, he saw bomb-sniffing dogs and bomb spotters on the roofs at the starting line, and it appeared to him there was some sort of active threat before the explosions went off at the start line this morning they had um bomb spotters on the roof of the building and they had bomb sniffing dogs coming up and down at the start line and melanie said there was bomb sniffing dogs at the finish line but they kept making announcements saying to the participants do not worry this is just a training exercise well evidently i don't believe they were just having a training exercise i think they must have known they must have had some kind of threat or suspicion called in now, Coach Stevenson told me he's run plenty of marathons in D.C. and Chicago, other major metropolitan areas, but he's never seen that many bomb-sniffing dogs for a race. But for right now, reporting live in the newsroom, John Zanitas, Local 15 News. John, thank you. Just a horrible deal.